right, let's see what $15 got me. We're a little bit under a quarter. Ooh, okay. Full tank. All right, so I was hoping that I didn't really have to do this video. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances and due to some poor garbage as customer service, here we are, right? So obviously from the title, you know what this video already consists of, what we're gonna be talking about. Um, if you're new to my channel, then check out the review that I did on the helmet uh, maybe about a week ago, um, which I wasn't happy with it whatsoever. Um, the helmet, it's, it's, it's not worth what, what, what it's being sold for. I wouldn't be so mad if this helmet was $200. So I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. For a $200 helmet, not that bad. For almost a $600 helmet, this shit is trash. So finally, after a week of going back and forth, back and forth with Rurock and their poor customer service, um, I finally got an answer. So at first I reached out to them right after the video. I'm like, hey, listen, these are the things that I've found wrong with the helmet. Number one, the fitment um, is, is way off from what you guys promoted on your website. Um, I followed the instructions on there to the sizing and the helmet is huge on my head. That's number one. Number two, the GoPro mount broke. Number three, the dark smoked visor that I wanted is not the correct color. I wanted a dark one. Number four, the helmet is extremely, extremely loud. Like really loud. When you're running down the highway, it's really, really, really loud. Um, come to find out, who who was it that posted that video? Uh, Gears and Gadgets. Shout out to Gears and Gadgets, man. I saw you posted a video where he took, uh, I think it was a showy, and he took a root rock and he literally cut him in half. Um, and he basically puts them side by side and it shows everyone the inside, the guts of the helmets and what, the, what they're made of, right? And obviously the reason why this helmet is so loud is because the cushion inside, the sponge, it's trash so that's why I'll show you a little clip right now of me putting it on and touching the the cheek pads how thin the cheek pads are the cheek pads are trash man they're like tissue you ever take a tissue or and just squeeze it together that's what it feels like when when you're squeezing this cheek pad I suppose for the helmets when it's not like that it's supposed to be real snug it's supposed to hug your cheeks um, and not move around at all right so he showed that he showed um the thinness, uh, the layers where next to where your ears are at, um, and just a good comparison of how cushion and everything is, you know, with the other helmet, or with the show we compared to this one. Um, so great video, shout out to you, homie. Um, we need more people out here doing real reviews, guys. Like, listen, I, I, I do sponsorship uh, videos a lot. And I don't get paid for them. I, I like they, they, they send me free stuff, right? They send me free stuff, so I do the video on it and I do a review on it. Most of the time, I like it. I love the stuff. Number one, already, I'm, I'm not really gonna agree to do something with a company that I don't know nothing about most of the time, or it needs to be a, it needs to be a product that I really, really, really enjoy or really love, right? And I'm like, oh, all right, fine, let's do it. And I really want this, let's do it. And most of the time, the product ends up being of high quality. Now, there has been a few times where I've had a company send me a few things and A, I send it back, I don't do the review at all because I don't like it, or B, I'm just not crazy about it. And I, I always let you guys know that. I'm always very black and white, I'm very fair, I'm very honest. Um, at the end of the day, if I'm gonna be promoting something on here, a product, uh, especially something expensive as this, I wanna give you the real, real reaction. I don't want you guys to go out there and, and spend your hard-earned cash on something that I know is gonna be trash and something that I know you're not gonna like. If I don't stand behind it, if I don't put my word behind it, then no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna promote it like that, you know? <laughs> I'm just, uh, it's just funny. I received that email this morning. Yo, what the fuck? I received that email this morning and they basically said, matter of fact, I'll just post it up right here so you guys can see. The worst customer service in the world. <laughs> Like, if, if you're not gonna take the helmet back, 
like at least you know what be like all right well if you want we'll we'll exchange it here's another thing on top of that i let him know that the helmet came scratched and you guys saw from the video when i first opened the box that i mentioned that i'm like listen this helmet looks like it has like minor scratches first time putting it on on a video and you guys saw that and i mentioned that and they were like oh it's 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 very weird that it will have scratches like what and then you're telling me that I can't return it because I tried it on, because I used it. How else am I supposed to see if this helmet is gonna fit me well or not? Just by putting it on one time, yeah, you could be like, all right, well, it might be a little loose or it might be a little tight, but let me see if I put it on and I go out for a ride, it might break in. Without doing that, you're not gonna find out if the helmet is gonna be good for you or not. So the fact that they're telling me, oh no, uh, the fact that you used it, we can't take it back. Like that is the most biggest bullshit I've ever seen in the world. I posted up um, a little post on my Instagram. If you follow my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Where I, uh, I tagged them on something. There we go. But after doing that, I, I received a lot of messages from different people. Um, and they were sending me, two people actually sent me a, a message of a picture they took of them reaching out to a different uh, helmet company. And they were like, oh, we want to return, I want to return it because of the fitment. They said, fine, here, just send it back, whatever. Another guy who said, oh, I was, something broke off on it. And they were, listen, if you want to send it back, send it back, we'll take it, we'll send you a new one or for, you know, pick a color in case we don't have it in stock. Like, come on, like that's, that's great customer service. And the fact that I've been going back and forth with these people for a whole week just shows you the type of customer service that they have. If, if I'm reaching out to you, obviously I, I, I think they're based out of England or something, I don't know what it is. I'm up at all, all times of the day. And the minute I see that they reply to me, I'm like, all right, well, they're up right now. Let me reply right away. I reply back and then they ghost me for until the next day. Then they reply with uh, the most vague answer. And it's, like, it's been a back and forth, back and forth. You would think that if I'm reaching out to you, we're having a conversation, we're trying to resolve it. It should take maybe 20 minutes to resolve the situation, if that. It shouldn't take a whole week of me going back and forth, back and forth, to then tell me, oh no, yeah, we can't take it back. That's, a, that's some bullshit, bro. Like, this company, number one, customer service is trash. The product is trash. Like, I'm, I'm at the point right now where I'm literally, literally, I'm so pissed off that even even if this helmet was $600, I'm thinking about burning it and making a video on it. I'm thinking about literally burning this damn helmet. That's how upset I am. Matter of fact, if you think I should burn this helmet, give this video a thumbs up right now and drop your thoughts down below. And I'll tell you right now, if you are in the market and you are looking at this helmet, do not buy it. It's pure trash, man. Like I said before, if this helmet was $200, yeah, all right, well, whatever. It's a $200 helmet. That's what this helmet basically is. This helmet is a $200 helmet. If that, it might be $100, $150. My built helmet, which I showed you guys in my last video, which I got for $110, $117, is better than this. Fitment is way better. Quality is better. It's quieter for a $110 helmet compared to this. At the end of the day, all you're paying for when you get this helmet is looks. And by all means, listen, don't get me wrong. The reason why I got this helmet is because it looks super cool. It looks badass. The design, and, and, I, and I'll be honest, it, it might be the most, the best looking helmet on the market besides Simpsons. I love Simpsons. It, it, it might be the best looking helmet. I honestly say that. But when it comes to quality, it's trash. All you're paying for is a design. Basically it. That's it. Matter of fact, listen up closely. If this video gets 20,000 views in one week, I'm gonna burn it. If this, I'll say it again. If this video gets over 20,000 views within one full week, I'll burn it and I'll make a video on it. So if you wanna see that happen, share this video, hit the like button, comment, and send it to your buddy to watch. 20,000 views in one week? Matter of fact, I'll do it live. We'll do a live on it, man. Live on YouTube and live on my Instagram. 20,000 views in one week and I'll burn the helmet. I'm not playing, bro. Anyways, that's my rant. 
if you are looking to buy this helmet don't run away from it there's a lot of helmets out there that are way better if you want a cool looking helmet get yourself a simpson or a Bootwell. if you want a real not that cool looking but a really really good helmet then there's bell there's showy there's uh, there, 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 there's a ton of companies out there even scorpions are pretty good and if you haven't seen my full review on the helmet which i posted last week then i'm gonna be linking up at the end you guys can watch that definitely watch that you can see all the fitment and everything that i go over and you'll see as soon as i open out of the box that i talk about the scratches and and everything else um if this is the type of content you're into guys if this is the type of honest content you're into you're definitely in the right place go ahead subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content this is my 2021 road glass special i also have a 2020 uh low rider s and a 2019 sportster 883 which we do content on all of them i post two to three times a week ton of content tune in for the next one i'm a i'm gonna try to enjoy this beautiful day matter of fact guys hold on look i forgot i, I, I was so upset i forgot to mention the the, the the weather out here in dirty jersey man blue skies clear skies after this crazy crazy storm we had last night i had a leak in my bedroom my basement got some water in it a lot of people that i know like family close friends lost their vehicles flooded their cars drifted away uh so a lot of people up here got got hit really bad up here in new york um and, and some didn't you know uh but it was a lot a historic amount of rain within a few hours insane um i'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of my day i'm off from work i'm heading up to new york i'm gonna get you the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby Peace.